Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited to do because it's going to be chit chatty, get ready with me, very casual video where I put some makeup on from Shop My Stash Baskets, which is a new series to my channel that I started uh, just now in January 2023. Also be featuring this Nabla secret palette. If that sounds interesting to you, give this video a like. And if you're not yet subscribed, I invite you to do so. And without further ado, oh, let's dive in. I need to put something on my lips and I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. Uh, it has a, such a comfortable balmy formula. This is in the shade Moon Jelly. It does have like iridescent hint to it, but I really like it as a lip balm. So I started a new series to my channel, uh, Shop My Stash, and the first video already went out for a month of January. And so many of you were excited that I'm bringing those series to my channel this year. I pretty much put everything in the container right here and it sits here on my vanity. And then I put all my eyeshadow palettes in a separate organizer. So primarily all my complexion products here in the basket. All the products that I'm using today will be listed for you in the description box as always. I'm gonna prime my eyes first. This is Ulta Beauty Under Eye Primer. This is my favorite. I pretty much have an empty tube and I already repurchased it. It should be delivered to me this this week. It's very hard to believe for me that we are half through January already. I feel like December is always a crazy month for me when it comes to holiday season, end of the year, when you have to wrap up all the things at work and kind of have your life organized, get your house ready for holidays, buy all the gifts. And I'm very happy that that's over. Makeup Revolution Mattifying Primer. This December, I didn't have Vlogmas, as may you have noticed. However, I still uploaded a lot of videos that I thought you guys enjoyed and I enjoyed filming them so much. The roundup videos are probably one of my favorites to film. It does feel exciting to me when I talk about my favorite products. What were your favorite videos to watch during Vlogmas? What did you guys enjoy? December was definitely fun but also in a way it was quite overwhelming because every year I think that December is gonna be different this time and it's never different. It's always like this crazy, overwhelming and million and one things to do that you never have time for. So let me know if you can relate to this. How did you spend your Christmas? How did you spend your New Year's Eve? For Christmas, we were at home. We decided that we wanna stay at home this time. Last year, we traveled for holidays. We spent uh, two and a half weeks outside of the country with my boyfriend visiting our family members. And even though it was super fun, we really didn't spend time at home. We didn't enjoy our uh, cozy home, our decorations. I still decorated the house last year, but we didn't really end up enjoying it too much because we were not in the house. So this time we decided that we traveled quite a bit in 2022 and we really wanted to enjoy home, staying at home for the holidays, dress up our dogs with Christmas outfits, Christmas sweaters. Uh, we have this cute tradition, you might have seen it in the Instagram, that on Christmas morning we dress up dogs in Christmas sweaters. I mean they wear them from Christmas Eve. So we have Christmas hats, but anyway we would go for a walk with our dogs all dressed up in Christmassy things. Uh, we would meet neighbors, we'll take photos, we really all have a good laugh about it. And every year we do this. No, none of us really had that as a tradition before, but we kind of tried it one time. I was like, why don't we just do it every year? And it just kind of turned into a tradition with time. Uh, do you have any cute traditions that you do that maybe you created or you got inspired by somebody else to do with your family or with your pets? I would like to hear your stories as well. So we had a pretty scary incident happen a day before Christmas with my dog. Any story that is scary in our household involves my dog, one of them. So we have two dogs. We have a 35 pound mix. He looks like a Doberman and he was an adopted uh, baby. My boyfriend adopted him years ago. I think when he was one and he's now 11. Him and my boyfriend have like a special connection. They have this chemistry between them that nobody else can understand really. It's very much noticeable. This is incredible how pets are so 
sensitive and they're almost like humans how dependable they are on you and how much they love you and how much they give back to you especially when it comes to dogs i mean i'm a huge dog person anyway so the scare situation was with my other dog which is my 90 pound weimariner so his name is gus and he's the most adorable creature on this planet earth he is the sweetest however he's also the biggest troublemaker and we really have to keep an eye on him literally at all times i am not even exaggerating whenever we are at home no matter what we do we always need to know where gus is so because gus knows how to open doors he knows how to like open toilet lids and recently he just learned how to open doors that you actually have to pull towards you yeah when we saw him do that our eyes were like this big and our jaws were like on the floor we we're like how how did he learn to do that i have no idea but anyway so back to the story using my milk bronzer uh so my boyfriend really loves barbecuing and grilling and whenever we have holidays or like friends family over he always makes some type of meat so we obviously knew that we we're going to be home for some time for Christmas we were off for like almost two and a half weeks from work so he got this huge piece of brisket to make he is the only person who deals with uh, meat generally I really do not mess with it I'm more of like a baker and breakfast maker and stuff like that and whenever it comes to meat that's his area that brisket was huge it was just like ginormous and it took about 24 hours to cook it because there's just different steps that you have to do so you really have to baby that meat and keep an eye on it he does it really well and it always comes out super delicious so he takes a lot of pride in it whenever you prep the brisket it has a lot of pepper and salt and it has this like a layer thick layer like a rub so my boyfriend cooked the brisket and he put it on a kitchen island like cut it in half because the piece was like super big and i think it was like in the laundry room or something so my boyfriend rushed through the room and he goes please tell me you took that half of the meat away and put it somewhere else and i said what are you talking about and he said the meat is not there and i was like what do you mean it's not there it was just there what are you talking about i have no idea so it turns out our gussie got on the table and ate a half of the brisket it was a long story that story lasted for five days by the end of december 23rd which was a day before christmas eve the dog was so sick i could not even describe it which i won't because partially it was pretty gross that night we practically didn't sleep because he was restless and we had to go out with him every pretty much like half an hour because he was feeling sick he was pretty miserable for the next five days on christmas eve it actually became scary at one point because he was so sick we really thought we would need to take him to the hospital to like emergency vet because we really thought he was gonna die things were not looking good for him at all um however i'm very happy that everything turned out well he survived he stole food before you know he's a trouble he surfs the counters all the time like we always at all times we need to make sure that all the counters are clean and spotless and i always make sure my kitchen is empty and organized and clean and all the cabinets are closed and baby proofed but this time was different for sure so the worst part i don't think he learned anything because literally as soon as he got better he started I did, like going in the kitchen and looking for uh food to steal again i'm very happy that my doggy survived uh he's my favorite he's my baby this he drives me crazy but i love him to pieces his birthday actually was on december 28th he turned seven i had a pep talk with him and i said god gave you another chance to live don't waste it i want to show you these two blushes together this is an undone beauty shade 325 flare and then alta beauty blush and shade flamingo i wore them the other day in the combination is beautiful so i wanted to show to you what it looks like and for my birthday for new year's eve we went down to st petersburg here in florida i find that little town super charming if you've never been but you travel to florida i highly recommend visiting it just feels like a small piece of europe 
to me for some reason. Uh, we actually drove down there on the 31st, like on my birthday, and we came back home on the 1st. They have a lot of nice restaurants down there. So we went out for dinner and then saw New Year in, saw beautiful fireworks. Uh, they shoot right around the pier and it's always very pretty. By the way, I did my brows uh, behind the camera and I used this Lottie London wax. How was uh, your New Year's? Uh, did you celebrate? Do you usually celebrate? What did you do? I would like to hear your story, how you spend it. You might wonder why I still have my Christmas tree back there. Actually, I do have all my Christmas decorations still up around the house. And many of you know that I grew up in Russia until the age of 20 and then I moved here to US. And in Russia, New Year's, one of the biggest, if not the biggest holiday of the year. And when I tell you that everyone starts getting ready for New Year's Eve, whether they're going out somewhere, celebrating in somebody else's house or in their own home, people start getting ready like several months ahead of time. There are also few uh, traditions, I would wanna call them traditions, that you would do before year ends. So long story short, we believe that your house needs to be absolutely clean. All the laundry needs to be done before the year ends. And by clean house, I mean like spotless. You have to clean everything, like your closets, your junk drawers, <laughs> like your car. You change all the linens and wash your hair, do your pedicure, do your manicure, take a shower. Like uh, the dogs have to be clean, like literally everything. It may sound funny, but it's absolutely true. So I grew up in a household like that. My mom has been doing that her whole entire life. Also my entire life, my sister does the same way. And when I became an adult, this is exactly how I would do it too. I'm using the Pure Essence Highlighter. And that creates like extra pressure towards the end of the year. And besides the other things that may be going on with like your work or whatever with buying gifts, um, make sure your fridge is clean also and full of food and you have and you have your menu ready to go and your decorations are up. And then for New Year's, you're supposed to buy yourself like an absolutely brand new outfit, obviously have your nails done, hair done, if you have it like colored or whatever. Have you ever heard of that about Russians? Because it's actually the thing. I will pick the lip color at the end, but I do want to start on the beautiful palette, the secret palette. When I pull this palette into a Shop My Stash video, uh, quite a few of you expressed interest in me showing you the looks. I thought I would do something with this shade today because a Pantone of the year is a magenta. This shade seemed to be a little bit similar or close enough to magenta. I thought it would be fun to play with that today. I always show you the swatches, so I think I'm gonna be working with all these shades to create today's look. So when it comes to Shop My Stash series, I wanna say that I've always had some type of bin that would sit with the most used products here on my vanity. I would always pull out uh, products that I wanted to use that are very easy to reach for. And obviously something that I like that works well for me because I would have to get ready for work like super early in the morning and I would not have time digging through my entire storage unit to find products. However, I never had an official shop my stash series going on on my channel, but I do enjoy watching them from other creators because the entire 2022, I was trying to be on a low buy and I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't go over the board. However, I still tried the products that I had interest in and that you also had interest in. Primarily, I do purchase products to review on my channel. However, I also stay true to myself because I do wanna like what I buy. So for 2023, the goal is to still be on a low buy. And I thought that implementing Shop My Stash series would be very beneficial in helping me to rotate through my products and be aware of what I have, what I like, what I don't like, what is getting in expired and changing the texture or scent. I am planning to possibly do Shop My Stash once a month, but see how it will go. I also wanna hear from you. Uh, what do you think would be sufficient? I've seen some creators do it like once a week. Some do it like once in three months. Some do it once a month. I think once a month is the most common. So, so I'm kind of shooting for one month, but then maybe I will need to turn it into a two month basis. I am a little bit flexible in this department, but I would like to hear also your opinions. I possibly will be doing something like this, like a sit down, uh, get ready with me video using 
shop my stash products and maybe you will help me to select a palette i usually pick anywhere from like six to seven eight palettes this time i think i selected six palettes to work through this entire time and i thought maybe it would be good if you guys would help me in the comments to select which palette you would like me to use in the sit down get ready with me shop my stash video and i could do a tutorial for you so that's something that i'm thinking let me know if you like the idea of you participating or you may wonder why i still have the christmas tree in the back and no i didn't forget um and also i will tell you more all my christmas decorations is still up it's another tradition however it has to do with history and an old calendar that existed um i am a christian orthodox and our christmas falls on january 7th the new year in the old calendar fell on january 14th and then it was moved to december 31st to january 1st however that tradition stayed behind and now russians still celebrate what called old new year which means that we would keep all our holiday decorations until the 14th of january another thing that i wanted to update you on usually in the beginning of the year we have family members visiting us from up north and they usually come and stay with us for a while for like a month or so so this time they're coming at the end of this week and i am currently pre-filming content so all i'm doing Literally every single day for the past several days is just filming two to three videos a day. That way when they're here, I don't have to worry about filming and just have to find time to edit. But it is much easier than just to be locked in the room while I have people in the house. I am definitely a hostess with a mostess when it comes like people visiting me. I really want to make sure that my guests are always comfortable. We definitely don't get to see them as often as we wanted to. They obviously live in a different state so we definitely want to make sure that we spend a really good quality time with them. I finished off my look with Ardell eyelashes and I put this no budge eyeshadow from uh, e.l.f. in the shade Plateau. So this is a brown shade in my waterline and I also have it cosmetics superhero mascara on my lower lashes and upper lashes so this is a finished look I mix these three products on my lips and my favorite Ulta beauty lip liner in the shade almond so this sums up my video let me know if you enjoyed this chit chatty casual get ready with me video uh, using the makeup products that I selected for my monthly shop my stash I would like to know if you enjoyed this makeup look um, I personally really love this eyeshadow palette I hope you enjoy this video and enjoy my company today thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next videos bye